I've walked along this freezing cold, windy pier stuck out in the middle of the North Sea just to test out the capabilities of the new lossless zoom on the DJI Pocket 3. So effectively using this new zoom, we can now go from a 20 mil lens to a 40 mil lens. And looking on the screen, it looks pretty good. So let's do a proper test and see what it looks like on the computer. I actually use this camera with a wide angle lens on quite a bit. Let's pop it on. Now you can see so. Now I've got effectively four lenses. The wide angle lens takes it down to about 16 mil. You take that lens off, you've got a 20 mil. We use the new lossless zoom. We're going up to 40 mil. So when we use a digital zoom in conjunction with the new lossless zoom, that takes us up to around about 60 mil, which is pretty close for one of these little cameras. So with the wide angle lens on, as you can see, those houses and the church over there on the headland in Hartlepool look absolutely miles away down there. So let's take that off now. And that gives us just your standard 20 mil lens. And of course, that looks a little bit closer. Pop that in my pocket so I don't lose it. So if I want to use a new lossless zoom, this is a bit of a bumper. You actually have to stop the recording, press the arrows to zoom in. And let's have a look what that looks like. Of course, it's a lot closer. But don't forget, we still have the uh, two times digital zoom as well. So if we click on that, use the joypad, zoom in, we are substantially closer. You can see how much closer the church is now. All right, we'll zoom back out so you can see the difference. That's a digital zoom off. I've now took the lossless zoom off as well. And you can see it makes a massive difference, doesn't it? All right, we'll try it again with something a little bit closer. We've got a little fishing boat over there that's getting repaired. So we're gonna try it now. So this is just with the standard 20 mil lens. It's not bad, but it's always been a bit of a thing for me not having the uh, zoom. Well, we have the digital zoom, but it's not that good, is it? Especially in low light conditions. And you know what? Looks like it's going to rain or what the rain? Right. So again, we'll have to stop it. Zoom in using the lossless zoom. And as you can see there, it is substantially closer. Not bad at all. And let's use it in conjunction with the digital zoom as well. Looking at the screen, it doesn't look too bad, but it will be interesting to see it on the big screen at home. As this is only a tiny little thing, isn't it? I know, that's what she said. But I don't think it looks too bad. Let's zoom out again. So that's the new lossless one. What do you think? Do you think it looks all right? Should we walk to the end of the pier and try something a bit further away? Yeah, go on then. Right, let's try it with some writing. So this is just a standard 20 mil lens. Probably could zoom in a little bit on that and it might look all right, you know, just doing it on the computer yourself. Let's see what the difference is between the old digital zoom and then we'll try it with the new lossless zoom. So, right, this is the digital zoom. What does that look like? It usually looks a little bit pixely and a little bit grainy. Now we'll use the new lossless zoom. Does the writing look any better? Can you tell a difference? Let's see what it looks like when I zoom in a little bit. On the computer, I mean, not here. So now let's use it with the new lossless zoom and the old digital zoom. It still doesn't look bad. If I can read that on this tiny little screen without me reading glasses on, it's not going to be too bad. And like I said, it isn't brilliant light here in Hartlepool at the moment. <laughs> I hope you appreciate me. Look where I am, I'm in the middle of the ocean. I hope I haven't got a dribbly nose. There's a little boat going past, let's quickly try it with this. Does my bum look big? So that's standard. That's with the new lossless zoom. Right, let's zoom in using the digital zoom. There you go. I mean, it's not ideal, the digital zoom, but if you're stuck, you know, it's not bad. 
are you better off doing it in the camera or are you better off doing it on the computer? I don't know. Right, this looks like a good subject to try. So that's standard. That's zoomed in with the digital zoom. And that's zoomed in with the new lossless zoom. And let's try it with the digital zoom too. Pretty good. Pretty close. Not sure how good it is. Right, one more thing while I'm along the end of the pier, and we'll try that. So right over there, out at sea, we've got a big wind farm, and it is miles away. So this is just on the standard lens. I'm going to zoom in using the old digital lens, well, digital zoom. I can barely see it on the screen, it's that far away. Right, we'll come out of that. And that's with the new lossless zoom. Is it any good? And now I'm going to zoom in using the old digital zoom. It doesn't even look in focus on the screen. <laughs> so before we go on for a cup of coffee into edit these, there's one more thing I want to try. It's always one more thing, isn't there? So the other camera I've been using is the Insta360 Ace Pro, this little fella here. So this one's supposedly got a lossless zoom on it as well. So let's have a go, just as a comparison between the two cameras. So that's focusing on the wind turbines. And we'll use the digital zoom on this one. Is there much difference? What do you think? Which camera's the best? Which one should I use? A little fishing boat went past, so I thought I would see what it was like on the lossless zoom and then zoom it in on the Mac. What do you think? Right, that's me done for now. I hope you enjoyed that little test. I hope you learned something. I think I did. Uh, I'm not sure what the results are yet because I haven't seen it. But we have just watched them, so we do know really. Right, I will catch you next time. Don't forget, give us a thumbs up. Look at my holy gloves. Give us a thumbs up and uh, leave a comment and subscribe if you like. I've got loads of other stuff on this channel. Not all gadgety stuff, there's all kinds of stuff on here. And I will catch you next time. Bye bye now.